In the PTE test, one of the ways you're assessed is on your English fluency. Let's take a closer look at fluency and how you can get all the points available. Hi, I'm Sharon. Welcome back to another video from Benchmark Education Solutions. Today, we're going to look at that mysterious topic called fluency. What is it? And how can you get all the points available to you on the PTE academic test? First, we're going to talk about what fluency is. What factors affect your fluency in a negative way? And finally, I'll share some ways to overcome these factors. What is fluency? Fluency in any language is the ability to speak in a way that is smooth, effortless, and naturally paced. It's being able to talk confidently about normal things at a normal speed. You have enough knowledge of grammar and vocabulary to be able to express yourself and to understand what people are saying to you. And that's it. You don't have to speak English perfectly to get good marks in fluency. You don't have to worry about your accent, and you don't have to worry if you don't have thousands of words in your vocabulary. So how can you get a high score in fluency? Let's talk about nine ways to get a high score in fluency when you take the PTE academic exam. The first one is to speak at a normal volume. Speak directly into your microphone during the exam and speak with confidence. In the PTE exam center, there will probably be other test takers around you busy tapping on their keyboards and speaking into their microphones. You want to be sure you're being recorded clearly, because remember, the test examiners will be marking you based only on this recording of your answers. They need to be able to hear you and understand you. You might want to practice speaking in a noisy environment like a subway or maybe while you're listening to music. Get your brain used to tuning out noise and concentrate on what you're saying. The second way to get a high fluency score is to speak clearly. Try your best to pronounce words distinctly with the correct sounds. This just takes practice and listening to lots of native speakers. Listen, then repeat. You can also try speaking at the same time as the native speaker. This is difficult, but it's a great way to learn pronunciation quickly. We'll try this together at the end of this video. Number three is don't hesitate. For most people, fluency means that you can speak easily. Of course, vocabulary is important. But even if you don't have the biggest English vocabulary, you can still speak without hesitating. For example, if you want to talk about what you ate for dinner last night, but you can't remember the word carrot, you could say, last night I ate a delicious dish with those long orange vegetables that are soft when you cook them in water. The point is not to hesitate because you're trying to remember the right word or the correct grammar. Just concentrate on what you're saying, like you do when you speak your native language, and try not to be too nervous. Here's an example of a speaker answering a read aloud question. In this recording, you'll hear her hesitate and mumble, and she's not able to finish the question in the time allowed. After running from rips um, or tears in the bark of trees, um, the sap hardens to uh, form um, lumps of gum, uh, which eventually Hmm, fall to the ground. Number four is give your answer structure. When you are answering questions like retell lecture or describe image, it will help you score points in fluency if you give your answer structure. Here's an easy way to do this. Say, the lecture was about, then summarize the topic of the lecture in one sentence. First, the instructor said, second, he talked about, his conclusion was that, 
and here you can describe the topic of the lecture again using different words. You don't have to use this format, just remember to give your answer structure. This helps your listener understand what you're saying. And you don't have to retell everything the lecturer said or everything you see in the image. Just describe the main points and you can earn top marks. Number five is try not to have long pauses. An important part of any spoken language is the way we link words together when we speak. I bet you do this in your own language too. When you speak, try not to pause between words. This will affect your fluency and make it a little more difficult for your listener to understand what you're saying. Let's listen to our speaker again. In this recording, she's pausing between words. She still has time to complete the sentence, but her speech will not earn her top marks for fluency. After running from rips or tears in the bark of trees, the sap hardens to form lumps of gum, which eventually fall to the ground and are buried under layers of forest litter. Also, practice thinking in English. Very often, as language learners, we have a hard time learning to think in a new language. It's very common to hear something in English, translate it to your own language in your head, think of your answer in your own language, and translate it to English before you speak. This takes time and can cause long pauses in your speech. It will also cost you fluency points in the PTE exam. Take some time to practice thinking in English. And remember, because you're being scored by a machine, the recording will stop automatically if you hesitate for longer than three seconds. Next is to speak at a normal pace. Speaking quickly is not a mark of fluency. Speak at a pace that is natural for you. If you worry too much about trying to speak quickly, your pronunciation might suffer. You might also end up using too many words or repeating yourself. So try to keep your speech smooth and consistent. And don't worry too much about the time. You'll usually be able to answer the question in the time you have. In the next recording, our speaker is talking too quickly. She would lose fluency points because she's not pausing for commas and her intonation is very flat. After running from rips or tears in the bark of trees, the sap hardens to form lumps of gum which eventually fall to the ground and are buried under layers of forest litter. Here's number seven. Try not to use filler words like um or uh. These will interrupt the smooth flow of your speech and you'll lose points in fluency. Now listen to the speaker using too many filler words. After running from rips um, or tears in the bark of trees, um, the sap hardens to uh, form um, lumps of gum, uh, which eventually hmm, fall to the ground. Number eight is don't repeat words. It's best not to repeat words, even if you think you've made a mistake or want to correct your pronunciation. Just keep speaking. You will lose more points for repeating things than you would for one small mistake in pronunciation. And also, when you repeat yourself, it will cost you precious time. Think of the timer as your friend and not your enemy. Usually, you'll have plenty of time to say what you need to say. Use the preparation time to practice your pronunciation and intonation. Then when it's time to speak, you'll be prepared and won't need to repeat words. Listen to our speaker again as she repeats words and isn't able to finish the sentence. She also hesitates and uses filler words that cost her fluency points. After running from rips or tears, a Tears in the bark of trees, the sap, uh, the sap hardens to form lumps of gum, which eventually, um, uh, which eventually fall to the ground. 
The last way to get a high score in fluency is not to correct your speech. Just like repeating words, you shouldn't try to correct longer portions of your speech. Let's listen to our speaker again. You'll hear her correct herself. Because she did this, she ran out of time. She also lost points in fluency as well as content. After running from rips or tears in the bark of plants, no, no, uh, after running from rips or tears in the bark of trees. Let me say the sentence the speaker has been struggling with. Read along with me so you can practice. Remember that PTE doesn't care about your accent. Fluency is all about speaking easily with confidence. Just try to copy my pronunciation and my intonation and stress the words I stress. And remember, English words sometimes are pronounced the way they're spelled and sometimes they're not. That's why listening to native speakers is so important. Let's give it a try. After running from rips or tears in the bark of trees, the sap hardens to form lumps of gum, which eventually fall to the ground and are buried under layers of forest litter. To get top marks in fluency, my biggest advice to you is to practice and learn to think in English. Find a conversation partner so you can practice listening and speaking. If you need a conversation partner, Benchmark offers a PTE speaking mock test where you can practice a speaking test with an experienced PTE teacher and get advice in real time. We also offer writing correction and other services that will help you get top scores in the PTE academic exam. Check out our website at edubenchmark.com. Just click on the link in the description below to find lots of help with your PTE exam preparation. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell and share this video with your friends. It helps us be able to bring you more videos like this. I hope this was helpful for you as you prepare for the PTE speaking test. Leave us a comment and let us know what you think. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.